Hi, this is the Chemistry for Biology channel. I'm John Irwin. Our topic today is the zinc shopping cart. This work comes to you from the University of California, San Francisco, and uh, it's supported by the NIH. Uh, you can follow us on uh, Twitter, you can uh, like us on Facebook, and you can uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can find more videos like this. Our topic today is the zinc shopping cart, and the reason why this is a special video is because it gives you the chance to do a number of things, and we just wanted to demonstrate those things to you. So let's go through them, shall we? Uh, we want to collect molecules from several searches. Uh, you can generate a purchasability report. Uh, you can add and remove all molecules from the cart. You can save or download molecules. Um, you can make your cart public and share it with your colleagues. And uh, you can rate the molecules inside the shopping cart. Well, so let's just get started, shall we? This is zinc.docking.org, and as you can see right now, I'm not logged in. So I'm, if I wanted to, so we can do some of what I want to do today with uh, shopping the shopping cart as an unlogged in user, but really you can only do uh, a lot of the things we're going to talk about if you're logged in. So to sign in, you go here, and if you have a username, you can use that. If you don't, you can request credentials, and then here you can create a new account. You tell us uh, where you're from, your username, your email address, and uh, the CAPTCHA, and then you uh, wait until we approve it. And then once you have your credentials, you can sign in like that. Okay, so now, um, as you can see, I actually have a shopping cart already with some molecules in it, and these were from some previous searches. And so if I click on Add All, Remove All, now you can see that my shopping cart is empty. So that's how you empty your shopping cart. Next, you can see that I've already created some shopping carts, but my default shopping cart um, is the one that I'm using right now. So uh, let's do a structure search, shall we? Um, well, this was a previous query I did. Let's just look for, um, I don't know, indole, something like that, and uh, add a chloride maybe. Okay, let's do that. And now we'll do um, substructure search. And then while we're waiting, I'll just tell you that uh, this is the zinc search interface. Here are the smiles. You can edit the smiles and use the recycle button to propagate the picture over here, or you can edit the picture and then it will update the smiles. If you click on this plus sign, it will add additional structures. Uh, so you can query several uh, smarts or smiles at the same time. You can, you can use multiple levels of similarity or what I'm using right now, which is a substructure query. Um, so this is the, Z the zinc search interface, and the, the slowest one, perhaps, is, is, the, uh, is the substructure query. Well, here are some molecules, and um, if, as, when I hover the mouse, as you can see, it, it shows us some additional uh, information, for example, some purchasing information. Uh, it allows you to search for similar molecules, shows you some physical properties. And if we like the molecule, we can just simply click it, and now you can see that it's gone into our shopping cart over here. And then we'll just add another molecule there, and, and as we go down the list, uh, we'll just pick, hand pick a few molecules that we liked. So, um, like that. And if we want to, go all the way down the bottom. As you can see, there's only 100 per page. Um, and if you go back up the top, then you can simply advance to the next page and find some more molecules. So let's just find a couple on the, the next page. Okay, so we've got 11 molecules in our shopping cart. And so now when we click on it, now you can see the molecules in the shopping cart. There they are, all 11 molecules that we picked. Okay, fine. So if we click on a purchasability report, then what you see here is for we've ordered the vendors by which ones sell the most compounds. So this is a, a purchasing agent called Molport, and they sell nine of the compounds. Okay, and then you can see them there. Zinc ID, supplier code, and smiles. If you hover the mouse over the smiles, you see the molecule. If you hover the molecule over the zinc ID, you see the usual pop-up, or you should do. Where is it? Never mind, that seems to be broken right now. And then for each molecule in the, in the list, you can assign it a ranking, a score from A plus to C minus, which is your priority score. And then once you've done that, let's say, like that, then you can rank uh, by clicking here. You can rank the molecules by the score. You can also rank by the supplier code alphabetically, or you can rank by zinc ID. And then here's the next uh, vendor with other molecules. And if you like the molecules, you can click on Send Quote Request, and it will prepare an email message which will allow you to uh, inquire about the price and availability, and you can modify this message uh, yourself. 
and it will send you uh, a carbon copy based on your request. I'm not going to send that right now. Okay, and so all the way down the line, all the vendors of all the compounds ordered in order. All right, good. So um, if we go back to our shopping cart, then uh, we have this additional report called list. And when we do refresh, then now we can see the molecule. And now we have the pop-up there. We have the smiles, and now we can see the molecule. And again, we have the score, and it's remembered the score from before. Do you remember? I, I rated those ones A plus and A. So we can add a couple more scores like this. Okay. And, uh, and that's fine. And so now, um, if you want to, for example, download these molecules in MOL2 format, you simply select MOL2, and then you let's say you want to have uh, just a single representation at pH 7, and you're only interested in ones that are available in stock, and then you click on Refresh, and now you'll, you'll see the molecules will be downloaded here in MOL2 format to your local disk. And so then you can manipulate them. And um, so that's really... Uh, I've shown you how to collect molecules. I've shown you how to uh, per pr 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 prepare purchasing reports, add all, uh, remove all. I've shown you how to do save and download. In conclusion... We've been talking about the zinc shopping cart. Um, I've shown you how to collect, uh, add to, and uh, save and download the molecules and also how to prioritize them based on your own personal preferences about the molecules. You can find out more uh, by following uh, us on YouTube or liking us on Facebook or uh, following us on Twitter. And see you next time. Bye-bye.